Welcome back, friend. If you are new here, mm, I am so grateful that my information has bumped into you. My channel has bumped into you. Today's conversation, gut health and the correlation between our mystical way and our material way. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Leanne Wolf. I am a human design and BG5 business professional. I am a YouTube creator. I'm a course creator. I am a student of the human design system, and I am a lover of these mechanics. So let's drop into today's material. Today's material was initiated by a follower of my YouTube channel. And Michael from the UK asked me, why is it that most of the people talking about human design never talk about gut health. Well, I have lots of beliefs around that, but the human design system takes time. It takes time to know the science. It takes time to be able to recognize and experiment and go through the cellular process. And most of the time, the dedication is not there for people. They are not willing to, to go into it. But for me, I've been in this for seven, seven and a half, working on eight years. Um, I have studied this information. I have experimented with it. And I want to bring you exactly why gut health is important to you, you and understand it from the mechanics of the human design system. So you guys have heard me talk about the the capitalism and the material way that's in the red here on, on the body graph. And I think I've touched a little bit on the mystical way and that's here on in the black and the body graph. And if you notice something is that we have the full tribal ego circuitry from the 1949, 37, 40, and then the 54, 32, 44, 26, 21, 45. That's the full ego tribal circuitry. And the tribe is very, 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 very concerned about needs. The needs of its people and having enough food, having enough shelter, um, having the territory, having education, procreating, having more for the tribe. Now, procreation and nourishment comes in the defense circuit, which is the 27 to the 50 and the 59 up to the 6. That defense circuit is not a part of the ego circuit, but the ego circuit actually feeds, clothes, um, shelters, and protects that defense circuit. So the tribe itself has a it has a large, large part to do with our materialism. And materialism is not about wants. That comes down, <laughs> drop into the collective, drop into the 41, and right away what you see there is that that is right full of wants. It's full of fantasy, it's full of imagination, and it wants to have all of these experiences. But the tribe, it knows, hey, we have these particular needs that we have to have in order to let these bubbles of biology or these meat suits have a good life. And one of those things is food. Now, in the global orchestrated directory that we are in right now, you guys have heard me talk about that a few times, and if not, um, I'll pop in the video here. Uh, the, the cross of planning and the cross of Maya, what that has brought to us for the last 400 years is this channel of community, this 37 up to the 40. And the 37 and the 40, what is housed here, the 37 has the most, and the 40 has the stomach. Food has been one of the largest conditioning fields of our humanity, especially since human design popped onto the world, but definitely for the last 400 years. In order to control people, if you can adjust their gut flora, then their, their, their brains and their minds are weak. And with unhealthy gut flora, 
the control mechanism can happen through the propaganda that's happening right now in the 16 of that global orchestrated directory, and that 16 is delusion. The 16, what it is, is it is the, it is the hmm, voice for the logical stream. And that voice that is always trying to propagandize and solicit money and funds. Well, right now it's delusional. It's been sitting in delusion since the 1960s. And what it has been doing since the 1960s is through that delusion, it has been propagandizing the governments and the large institutions on our planet. And what it is doing is dumbing us down through our food. Now, is this right, wrong, good, or bad? No, not at all. There's a whole design here happening. There's a mechanics happening. And it's okay. We don't have to get caught up in it. But it's breaking down. That global orchestrated directory that is all about this cross of planning and handing over our individuated power to governments and to large institutions and to those big, big organizations, that is leaving us. So right now on the planet is this large, large aspect of how do we continue to control the people? Because the cross of planning doesn't want to let go, right? It doesn't, it just doesn't want to. I've, I've said this numerous times in numerous videos over the last little while. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay that it doesn't want to. It's got seven more years before it completely breaks down. And what, what we're moving into, again, is that, that cross of the sleeping phoenix and that penetration where the major concern is individuality. So in order to be controlled, in order for the propaganda and the delusion to really take hold in humanity, if we can, if, if, if you know, that, that energy field can change the gut health of a human being, then they've got you. But Michael's question is like, why are we not talking about this? Well, I'm talking about it today. So welcome. The primary health system and the rave psychology system if you don't know it, I would encourage you to, you know, get a hold of me. I can definitely help you. There's lots of very, very good professionals in the world helping people with this. Um, there's lots of very not good professionals as well, just a caveat there. So please use your strategy and authority. But the, the, the PHS and the rave psychology aspect of it, it's, it's the larger aspect. But it allows you to, to recognize how to correctly ingest food. Now, food itself is a whole different topic. Um, I go into the biology aspect that was uh, created through a naturopath and a biologist, and they worked with raw. So I go into that biology aspect when I speak to you about your primary health system because the food aspect is also very important. How can each one of us individuate and allow for our gut health to be the best? And why do we need that? Well, this cross of planning is the bridge between our needs and our awakening. What happens here is that the mouth is bringing in the experience. It's bringing in, it's breathing in the experience, bringing it in. The gut is the 40, that's the stomach. And what the stomach does is it actually is that place of either delivering or denying. That's what the 40 does, okay? It delivers or it denies. The 40's job is to deliver each individual from the tribe and initiate them through the 51 and the 25 to their awakening. That's the actual job of the 40 when you look at the mystical way of this. So the 40, if the gut health isn't correct, if that gut health isn't happy, if the mind and the psychology and your outer authority is gummed up and still looking at the world and feeling like a victim in it, 
then there cannot be an awakening aspect. The gut health allows us to be initiated correctly through whatever aspect you want to say. Maybe it's another human being. Maybe it is the, just the shift in, in, in the global orchestrated directory. But it allows for that, that correct initiation for us to then stand in our own awakening. And that is really what these last seven years is really going to, well, six and a half now, we're into August, so less than six and a half. What's really going to happen is that we are going to be able to see when you are aware and awake, just how this is all breaking down. You don't need to get caught up in it. You just need to witness it and experience it and be yourself in it. So the gut health and the food. So I've, I've, seen, lots of, I've seen lots of different things. I've, I've, I've heard lots of different things. I have no idea if, it's, if uh, any of that's going to happen because in my experience, I live on a farm. I produce a lot of my own food. And I don't know what is going to take place. But there's a lot of talk about mm, shorting food. And then you see a lot of talk about the, the creation of meat in a lab. Weird. But all of these things are happening for us to recognize that the only way to be controlled through the cross of planning is through our food. That's going away. How can you be healthy today? Definitely pay attention to what you're putting into your gut. Pay attention to your prebiotics. Pay attention to your probiotics. So that when that gut is healthy, when there's good things happening in there, the strength of your mind can be your ally instead of your foe. Unhealthy gut flora then allows for the conditioning field to take hold. And what happens there is that we become victims of the conditioning. We become victims of our circumstances versus being correct, having a healthy gut flora, interacting with other people through our strategy, making decisions through our inner authority, and connecting that way. So that the autonomy, that energy of autonomy that's coming in 2027, so that we are fully situated in the truth of who we are, <clears throat> excuse me, so that the awareness piece and the awakening piece can be our truth. So the other aspect is that the 19 and the 49 are breaking down. So needs are going to look a lot different. And nowhere in here am I talking about money. If the focus of your world is around money and sacrificing, that's what happens in the 19 and the 49. There's a lot of sacrifice that happens here. Sacrificing your gut health and your gut flora and your wellness for the material plane then money becomes the stronghold instead of your intrinsic value. I could do many, many, many videos about all of this over a course of years. Uh, but what I've done is I've actually created the self-mastery movement, the coaching program. And I have hundreds of hours of videos inside this coaching program so that you can drop into this information and then weekly we walk through it. We look at your design. We, I, I coach you on, on all these different aspects so that you can see it show up in your life. So if that's correct for you, I have a description down below and you can, can go there and take a look at the, the program itself. But in the meantime, if it's not correct for you and you feel as though some of this is resonating with you. I would highly encourage you to strengthen your gut flora so that you can begin to recognize the global orchestrated directory is breaking down.
that cross of planning is breaking down. Sorry, not the global orchestrated directory, but the, the, the cross of planning is breaking down. And we're moving to this place of autonomy. And because of that, it is important for you to understand this is a movement towards a more mystical, more internal process versus an external process. What happens in the channel of community, it was a, an external process. It was handing over the decisions and handing over our autonomy to the decisions of the institutions and the governments. And really what's happening is that we're taking that back. So gut health is super important. Allowing for yourself to be healthy and happy and yummy and moving from satisfaction and moving from success and moving from a place of peace and moving from a place of awe, that, my friends, that, my friends, if you could make that your focus, the material plane looks completely different. Your mystical wake looks completely different. And you and I get to connect on a whole new frequency. So I just encourage you, play around with that. Um, if, if, if you would like to connect with me, all of my information is below. And I can definitely assist you if it's, the, if it's correct for you and you're responding to that. I would love to see some very, very super awake, aware uh, beings that want to change their perspective, change their reality, change their world. I would love to see you in my self-mastery movement. I would love to see you invest in that so that you, my friend, and I can take this little divergence that's happening here in the ego, take this little divergence and be initiated into our awakening versus getting caught up in the muck and the mire and the victimhood that's happening on our planet today. Thank you very much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.